So I get asked quite a bit, uh, why'd you start this golfography experience? And honestly, I did it to try to bring uh, like-minded individuals together who love golf and love photography. Um, I get uh, I get off on shooting golf photos, and I know a lot of people do when you're out at the golf course and you see um, views like this and, and you get good lighting, it's kind of natural to pick up a camera and uh, take photos. So I figured we'd do it in a more organized way, do it at some place special and create an experience that people would never forget. Uh, the other reason, which is really important to me, is I really think it's growing the game of golf. I think when you get people together like that and get excited about it, you're creating uh, memories and you're creating images that'll last forever. And uh, people will um, love the game because of it. I see people uh, actually come to this event who aren't even golfers, they're just photographers and they uh, they love the, the work that I do and the work that some of the others do that are a part of the experience. And they see those landscape shots and they're like, I just wanna be there. And, and I wanna see that sunrise and that sunset and that, that type of thing. So uh, that's why I started the experience. The experience like blew my mind. I had no idea that they would have the people here that were here from Channing, PJ, um, Brian, Katie, everybody that was here. Um, the the sharing of expertise from people that have taken photography like for 30 years to help me as a newbie say how to set up my camera, what to do, what to look at for a shot. It was just, it was unreal. And to go out of here for having shot 20 pictures on a camera before I got here to coming back the next time, it's, 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 it's mind blowing. And it was a, one of the greatest golf experiences I've ever had. Well, I think events like this, what it does, I mean, there's, it's interesting because there's, a, there's a, a group of folks here today that um, are uh, budding photographers, uh, some that are professionals, obviously, uh, but people that are really just kind of at their heart, golf you know, geeks that just love the game. Um, and events like this really, it, it, it allows people to come together, network, make good friends, uh, have a great experience, and uh, they'll talk about this for a long time, hopefully, uh, and, and encourage other folks to come out and, and do the same. So did you find anything that you weren't expecting? Was there anything that was maybe a little more special to you about the event? Yeah, this, this whole thing, I mean, first of all, we got a first class facility here. Uh, I was not expecting that. I knew uh, I knew this would be a good good course, but uh, the the uh, accommodations, the staff, all five star all the way. Uh, so if this is any indication of what to what's to come. Uh, we're on the right track. So what was special about this event that you found over the second or the first one? This event, I think, I, I really got a I got an action. I, I got an eye for a different type of photography. Um, I, with the, the people that Channing brought in, I really learned from them and, and really gained a respect for all sorts of, of golf photography, not just landscapes. Well, this is my very first golf photography experience and I'm uh, surprised and delighted. It's been a wonderful experience. For me, as a, an old photographer who's been around the block a few times, to see the enthusiasm for photography for golf photography in particular, which is what I've been involved in for over 50 years. Uh, it's wonderful and I hope this just is the start of something huge. So do you think that the golfography experiences, the two of them you've been to, have made you a better photographer? Absolutely, both both golfography events uh, have, have made me a better photographer from learning, from practicing, and, and just experiencing the whole event. So you've actually signed up for the next golfography experience before the second one was over. Tell us a little bit why you did that and why you think other people should join for the next. Um, I mean, it, it's it's a fix, and and I, I found the opportunity to, to get my next fix um, as Channing presented golfography three, and um, the opportunity to go out at, at Valley Hack and uh, experience a, another Dormy Network property and the level of service that they're able to provide. Um, it was a no-brainer, uh, especially after Channing poured my third glass of wine. It's a blast. It's so much fun. You learn a lot and you just have a great time golfing. If I had a chance to win a billion dollars or a ticket to the next golfography experience, it's a no-brainer. 
I'm going to golf Audrey. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, hey. So are you, are you coming back for another golf Audrey experience? Just a bear in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard yes. <laughs> So on the course, I saw a couple of unusual things from you. I rolled up and you were you were shirtless, flying a drone. What what were some of your your on course highlights well, during the golf out here? To be perfectly fr frank, I I didn't account for the humidity level um, in the morning. So, you know, the the best photographer is a prepared photographer, and and just sometimes in order to to cool down the camera body. You've got to cool down the photographer body. And uh, it's really just kind of a, 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 a two-edged sword. Um, and if you do both things, and if you're well set up, you're going to get great shots. That's good. good. I think it's it. <laughs> <laughs>